Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners, and for today's video, I have something a little bit different, so um, for any of my subscribers that are used to the normal, I mean, either baseball or usually definitely vintage baseball uh, content, will be something a little bit different for this video, so if it's not for you, I understand, but um, I wanted to show off a pickup I had, and this was um, pretty much inspired by... Um, somebody I want to give a shout out to because uh, I've only been subscribed to him for about four months or so but just love his channel and content and that's uh, Tony over at uh, JP Wisco Baseball Cards and uh, <clears throat> he was on a couple weeks ago with uh, John from 3D80's Kid uh, doing an interview with him and when asked what his favorite TV show ever was he mentioned Twin Peaks and I believe I I didn't watch it till maybe about eight years ago or so, eight, nine years. Um, it was the first I watched it when I believe it was on Netflix. And I think I watched through it twice. And one of those shows, I mean, it's it's definitely eccentric and odd. And um, it's very, I mean, it's very much a cult classic. And most people either love it or hate it. Um, most people I've talked to, like, personally do not like it, but, um, it's just something as you watch it more and more, you have an appreciation for it, an appreciation for the, I really think, like, just the characters and the character, I don't know if I want to say character development so much, because it kind of really, some of the storylines get pushed through pretty quickly, but, um, I don't know, just everything... I mean, from the very beginning of the show, you pretty much know what the mystery is, who killed Laura Palmer, and then just unravels from there down so many wormholes of building more and more min mystery and intrigue, and just very, uh, very entertaining show to me. So um, I'm currently through, I think this will be my third time rewatching it. Um, uh, so that's what led directly to this purchase because as I was watching it and with most things I'm sure a lot of people do now is when you watch something or see something I mean well definitely from in the sports world I mean you see somebody play you see somebody make a play you see a team win you think oh well, I need to look up cards for this and uh, I do the same thing with shows now just to see if there's any sets out there and uh, there is a newer set uh there's a reboot of the show, which I've not seen, and I believe it is on Showtime, uh, and I, I've been watching the original show on Paramount+, Plus, and I just upgraded to the one that includes Showtime just so I can watch that show then, so in the rewatch, I should have probably waited till after this, but on the final episode, um, and then uh, after that, we'll be starting the reboot, um, or... I guess, I don't know if it's technically like a third season that uh, I think started in 2017. Um, but anyway, so there are some card sets. There was a set made by Rittenhouse in 2018 for that. And then I think they had like an archive set kind of documenting the original series as well. But these are from 1991 Star Picks. And this is, um, came in this little box. And I just think this set is very well done. You'll see then just the iconic shot during the title sequence of every episode. And I did not, I didn't even really look into it much. I saw there was autographs, but I didn't realize they, I guess I should have known that they were actually could have came in here. Um, so when I got this, it, it did not have plastic. It did have this paper band around it. Um, and it was sealed, but I guess you possibly could have unsealed it. Um, so I'm assuming this one was probably searched. I mean, this box was open, but this was like, I think $18 ship. So, um, just thought it was, it's a 72 card set. I believe I just thought it was really cool. So we'll go through this, uh, in the background I have up, um, these are some of my, autographs from the series Psych, and uh, I figured this would be good to put up in the background because um, 
both actors who um, played on Twin Peaks and then later, um, well, Dana Ashbrook, who plays Bobby Briggs in Twin Peaks, um, was a direct, there was a, a, a sh um, an episode on Psych inspired, well, in tribute to Twin Peaks, so, um, <clears throat> that was directly you know they had a bunch of the actors from the original show on so that's where that was from and then later towards um the end of or middle and end of season two uh billy zane guest starred um it's john justice wheeler so that is why i have his autograph there so so i'll show these off try and go through them pretty quick um just highlight some of them but just cool design um you know the bark of the tree in the background just the woods and just the setting in washington i mean the woods being very kind of key to the series the sawmill and everything <clears throat> um so then on the back of these now some of them this one i don't go into too much but um here's a checklist so then some on the, on the back of them it references well this is just in the title shot so it says um the wren here is in every episode and some will say the significance there's some facts and stuff on um here's really i mean if you know the show at all my one of my favorite cards in this and i actually thought about getting this graded there really i saw i know i definitely saw psa cards and i not i didn't see any cards graded by sgc but i believe they do grade these star pick cards um I tried to look at their pop reports and just putting in star picks in the year. There was, I think, a Kelly Ripa card or something that was graded. So I'm assuming that they do grade these. I just thought um, it would be really cool. As I flip these around, I, if you have not seen the show, I'll just say spoiler alert, even though it's been what, 32 years or whatever. But um, some of them do probably would give some things away. But... Um, just thought it'd be something neat to have graded actually so um try and go through these a little bit quicker won't show the back of everyone obviously if you don't if you haven't seen the show some of these aren't going to make sense if you have some make perfect sense um again the character cards are neat just showing the actors just a really well done set the info on it and i mean i should have double checked but i'm assuming it's the there's one i can double check because i think i knew our age when this started but i'm assuming it's um you know the stats and stuff here the i think birth dates of the actual characters and not the actors but oh Double check with some. But yeah, so in the comments, uh, let me know. Um, one, if you've seen the show. I mean, I was, <clears throat> when this show originally premiered, I was like seven or eight, so it was not something I would have been into at the time, but um, just something that, like I said, is definitely was and or has become cult classic and um something that at the time it came on was just you know really pretty different for the time um the style of show probably some of the some of the eccentric natures of the characters um But 
So like I said, something I pers personally was not old enough at the time to really know about or appreciate if I had, or probably would not have been for me anyway. But um, like I said, once I, I heard many people mention it over the years. Um, so then once uh, I knew it was on Netflix there, I believe in the mid 2010s, when I first watched it. I went through this once. There's actually, in my opinion, a pretty notable character. I think they might have left out here. Um, I guess maybe a couple now that I'm thinking about it, but, um, so if you, let me know your thoughts on, on the show, if you've seen it, um, originally, if you saw it when it came back on, um, like I said, I've seen pretty good reviews and heard good things about the, um, about the, um, remake that was done or I guess extension of the series that was done in uh, 2017. So very much looking forward to watching that then. <clears throat> uh, the autographs from this, I believe, are... Um, I saw some actual like, complete... Uh, I don't know if it's complete sets. I, I believe it is. There was ones... I, saw one that said set of 32 autographs and if you see them at all you can look on ebay um they're all autographed on the back and then has a little seal of authenticity like a little gold seal um i'm not sure if that was issued that way on the side of the box there i didn't focus on it too long but it did say something about um you got an autograph that you could um, register it basically so I don't know if they gave you a seal or something that way or how that was done for sure um, here's Bobby Briggs like I said um, uh, actor's name is Dana Ashbrook and that's the autograph in the background there kind of cool connection there but yeah something I didn't really uh, when I was first looking at these cards I thought these would be kind of like I said being a cult classic and um very popular show in my opinion I thought there'd be more more out there as far as the cards um, and I'm assuming there's a lot of these sets of cards out there like I said some of those definitely will not <laughs> some of the cards definitely will not make sense if you have not seen the show yet but through the last ones pretty quickly a little bit longer than I <laughs> had anticipated I guess but um these ones with the is that one with the giant oh there's a There's the one with the scene and then just the giant. I think those are really cool just because of kind of the part he plays in the in the show. Um, 
like I said, definitely, I guess I should have said it before, <laughs> if you have not seen, um, definitely some spoilers in these cards here, <laughs> but, um, yeah, just, I mean, it doesn't really, I don't, I'm assuming they put these, I don't know, it would have been after the, or during the run, or near the end of the run of the show, so, I mean, everything kind of goes with basically from the start of the series. Like, I thought this one's pretty cool, and the Garland Briggs has a top secret on the back. Um, obviously, the character cards, um, but I think there's some that. Like I mentioned with Billy Zane, I don't believe there's a Billy Zane card. Um, or John Justice Wheeler's character, but... So, I mean, there they have one reference in Gordon Cole, but do not have a Gordon Cole card. Then there's some trivia ones. I guess I'll flash the answers there but I mean some of these <clears throat> while watching this I stumbled upon like some very very um, deep dives into this show um, some like websites like the wikis I guess and like um, there's like there was a Twin Peaks wiki page and uh just some people that are very, very much into the show and have, like, I don't know where a lot of the information that comes from that was not, um, well, I guess, I guess I shouldn't say that, because there were, there was a lot of, uh, and I'll show at the very end then, too, a lot of, like, books and, um, little documentary series is, or little, um, one-offs, like, kind of, supporting the show so and then at the end here are some of the directors writers stuff like that There's David Lynch um, I believe this is I believe he did the soundtrack is David Lynch's daughter. I believe she wrote an accompanying um, The Diary of Laura Palmer, I believe, and was a director herself. And then I believe she did the song in the Roadhouse. Um, Joy Cruz there. Uh, okay, so to wrap it up, this was um, a little card that came with it and actually showed, like I said, there was so many accompanying things that um, uh, the, here's the autobiography of Dale Cooper um, as throughout the show he has the tape recorder so um, and then like an access guide to the town and then you could actually subscribe to the Twin Peak Gazette and got 12 issues of it. And then um, came with some other gifts. I don't know if it was like shirts or anything like that. But that would have been kind of really cool as well. So um, then their advertisement for their other sets. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Just thought this was really cool. Um, sorry, definitely this went on longer than I thought it would. But yeah. Um, just something that as I watched it I was getting really into this and I just think kind of as having an appreciation for the show and then really enjoying it and I thought this was kind of a nice accompaniment to it and for less than $20 shipped and we'll put this together in a binder then probably right behind my psych set so it kind of is a nice tie in there with the 
tribute they did to it and with the autographs um had to do with some of the actors on the show here so just thought all in all it was really cool uh, let me know your thoughts both on the show the set um appreciate anybody that took the time to watch this um thank you for watching and just remember any card can be a great looking card even if it has four soft corners thank you